Hello pilots and ground crew, uh, welcome back to my channel. Well, uh, I just thought I'd show you, I got the replacement, you all, if you're a subscriber, you'll know about the problems I had with the Runcam Split 2 Mini. Uh, the buttons had come off and the screen went blank and it got knackered up and, uh, well, I got in touch with Banggood and they've sent me a brand new replacement. They even let me keep the old one, not that I can really use it. But there again, the actual hitch, the recording part of it works, but you can't look through your goggles or out, so maybe I can use it as a little cam, but they let me keep it. But yeah, it was all knackered up, and the buttons came off, and I'm not the only one. Uh, there's been quite a few people where that's happened to, including uh, Andy RC. He'd left a comment saying, yeah, it happened to him as well. But i uh, got a new one through, just uh, took it out of the bag. I haven't even opened it yet, it's still sealed and I'm really doing this video just in case I have to send this one back. And let's just to make one thing clear, if I do, this is not a fault of banggood.com, this isn't their product, this is a Runcam product and it looks like a Runcam manufacturing problem. And if there's an issue with this one, I'm afraid it's going to be a refund. But yeah, let's open it up then and uh, have a look. Should have got me different. There you go. Yeah, I've done it on camera just in case the button falls off the second I open it. <laughs> At least then I've got it on camera to show you. Right then, uh, let's do this careful so there can't be anything is. I've already done the review of this, so I'll leave a link in the top left corner, whichever way my fingers point in, top left corner, if you want to check out the original video, right, where I did the review or whatever, but uh, yeah, let's see how the buttons and everything are on this one then. So, to start off with, obviously the buttons are on. Let me zoom in a bit for you. Uh, I think that's in focus. Yep, yeah. right. Looking for a little toothpick. Yeah, these are the buttons that came off, and like I say, it's not. I'm not the only one it's happened to. Um, okay, they're small, but uh, let's be honest, they should be on tight. But I'll just give them a press. Well, they don't feel too bad, yeah, but uh, I know one thing, once I've got my settings done, I won't be touching them anymore, plus uh, just in case if you've got one of these or got one coming, like I say, the problems with it, I highly recommend you holding the top of the button as you actually press the button which I know is going to be really hard if it's in the stack. In fact, if you've already got it in the stack, it's going to be impossible. So I recommend setting this up as a loose stack. All right. And when I say a loose stack, as in have you like your flight control board or whatever, then do your settings, all right. then actually build it up. All right. Because, as like I said before, these buttons came off so easily. I mean, I'm even... Ideally, what I want to do is give them a push to see how loose they are at the sides. But I've got a nasty feeling if I do that, the bloody thing's going to come off again. All right. But, uh, yeah. They seem a bit tight, eh? But uh, they are very, very flimsy, tiny little buttons. Now, I know it's a small little micro frame, but uh, at the same time, yeah, it's happened to me and it's happened to others. So what, like I said, what I recommend you do is have like a loose fit in all your stuff, wired up loosely, put your thumb on top, then press your button and go into your settings and stuff, all right, to set it up. Because luckily you can set it up so it starts recording the second uh, you turn your power on, you plug your LiPo in, and it stops recording when you unplug your LiPo. Just a warning, there's about a five second delay both ways. So as you plug your LiPo in, there's about five seconds before it starts recording. And as you unplug your LiPo, there's about five seconds jump back. 
so if if you're using it to you picked your quad up and you say thanks for watching cheers and unplug your lipo you're going to lose that thanks for watching cheers bit because it jumps back five seconds if you know what i mean hopefully you do but yeah anyway i just wanted to share i'm not going through the full thing again like i said i've already done a review all right well i did a review and an update right i'll leave a link to both of them actually because i did a review and the update the review i was singing its praises but i mentioned little issue and then the update it's knackered it's going back type thing all right but uh yeah so there you go the buttons are on when i've opened it up which really you'd expect so we'll see what happens all right one of the big problems is as well you see it comes with its own i will show you this it comes with its own standoff all right tiny uh let me just zoom out a little bit sorry just so you can see this bit and it's important as well all right I can get it open yeah it comes with these little uh, brass standoffs use them definitely definitely use them because your normal m2 plastic standoffs are a little bit wider right and uh, i'll tell you right now if you try putting a normal m2 standoff in here you're definitely gonna catch your buttons and stuff like that that's a definite that will happen but no, that isn't what happened to me. I used the brass ones. Right? I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to. I was going to use the plastic ones because uh, I wasn't keen on using the brass ones first of all, even though I thought they looked cool. All right? But uh, I noticed straight away the buttons were close. But at the same time, once I'd got it in, I went to press a button. All right? Thing just came off in my hand. And like I said, about three or four times, I'm not the only one this has happened to. But yeah... Real quick then, you get your little uh, cover, which is not just a heat shrink, it holds everything in place. You get a little adapter, right, so you can mount onto bigger quads. You get a whole mess of different ways of wiring it, whichever way you want to do it. But like I said, I've done the review, so I'm not going through all that again. I really just wanted to show you this. I've got the replacement and show you the buttons. I'll just give them a press again. Yeah, so we'll just see what happens. And uh, keep your fingers crossed for me, pilots and ground crew. Right, I'll leave it there then. Uh, thanks for watching, it's just the unboxing and the new one, uh, the replacement. But like I said, don't leave any bad comments about Banggood, right? because it, it's not a Banggood product, it's Runcam, where the manufacturing fault with Runcam. Right? Hopefully, maybe it was just in the first 100, 200 batches, because I got this, I got the original one when they basically first come out. Right? Uh, there weren't many in the UK, so... Uh, Maybe I dropped lucky and uh, Runcam sorted it out on the, you know, the production line, the first lot that rolls off the production line. Maybe there was a little fault and they've got onto it because, like I say, it's not just me. A few people have complained about this. But anyway, then, uh, Pilots and Ground Crew, I'll leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching and cheers.